Hello guys my name is Neeraj and I am PhD in life sciences and working in patent and technology consulting area since last 7 years today we are going to talk about a very interesting topic that is patenting in life sciences or biotechnology so a life science patent is a patent on a biological innovation that under the law grants the holder the exclusive right to prevent others from producing, using, selling or importing the protected invention for a set amount of time. If you still did not get it, then you must be remembering vaccines and diagnostic tests during the COVID-19 pandemic in the recent years. All those vaccines and diagnostic processes are actually patented by one or more pharmaceutical or biotechnology companies. The world is getting benefited from those vaccines and in turn, these companies are getting monetary benefit for a certain period of time during which nobody other than those companies can produce, use or sell or even import those vaccines or diagnostic kits. Patenting in life sciences were already there since ages. It's not that new. But there were some landmark litigation cases related to biotechnology such as Diamond vs. Chakrabarti in United States around four decades back which actually opened up the new path for patenting modified organisms such as microorganisms, mammalian cell or even live animals along with the method and tools for making that. Dr. Chakrabarti patented an oil eating genetically modified bacteria whose patent was denied by US patent office but when the decision was challenged in US Supreme Court the patent was allowed. The consistent health related challenges and requirement of the growing population of humans, animals and plants have regularly fueled the patenting in life sciences. Although the life science patent include wide variety of topics such as drugs, biological research, assay tools, medical devices, agricultural products, biofuels, foods and cosmetic, but if we have to broadly divide it into some categories, then there are two major categories based on their end application. One is therapy and the second one is diagnosis. So patenting in therapy involves patented drugs, vaccines, nutraceuticals or food formulations, biomedical devices and methods associated with it, which are there since many decades. However, in the recent times, biotechnology based therapeutic research has gained significant impetus such as gene therapy, antibody therapy, recombinant protein and smart medical devices. All these products are patented and in addition method of producing them is also protected via patents. Patenting in diagnosis involves various devices and kits which are being used for the diagnostic procedure. In the recent times the focus has been more towards the point of care diagnostics or portable diagnostic solutions. Also analysis of hundreds of thousands of samples at one go which is also known as multiplex approach are also becoming very popular. Patenting in life sciences has always been a bumpy ride and it has been very complex. It's because patenting in this area can only safely arrive at when the law and morality are juxtaposed together. There are various ethical issues involved such as animal trials, human trials, side effects, uh, experimentation or harmful pathogenic agents such as viruses because it can have long term implications on the health of biological organism and ecosystem that's why it is very complex issue. Therefore, in order to have a balance, every country has its own laws and regulation with respect to the patenting in life sciences. For instance, in India, there is section 3D, 3L, 3J, etc. in the Patent Act which exclude various things which cannot be patented. Furthermore, patenting in life sciences in US and Europe has its own path. So despite all these challenges, patenting in life science has already be, always been exciting and have played pivotal role in innovation because it not only helps in improving the well-being of human, animal or plants, but it also encourages innovators and market players to work on the novel invention for the benefit of everyone. So guys, 
I am going to end my conversation here, hoping that you have got a fair glimpse of the importance of patent in life science based innovation. Thank you very much.